Hello guys, good morning, good afternoon, good evening from wherever you're watching us from. This is No Mad Saka and today uh, we are here at uh, Villa Rindima and it's, it's just amazing. It's early in the morning. Let me see. It's uh, 9.36. 9.36 a.m. East African time and we, it's just amazing being here starting my morning early in the morning and I'm so positive about today. I just want to go out there and you know uh, do my best and make sure that uh, you know I, I, I become productive for the rest of the day so guys welcome back to this space and for those who are new my name is Nomad Saka I'm a content creator from Kenya kindly join by subscribing and you'll be part of our big family and if you are the mem if you are our member as always kindly give the video a like and a give you the video a thumbs up guys and also comment down below and tell me what you think about no mad sucker so today's video it's just a simple uh you know a village village experience you know when you're in the village uh when you wake up in the morning you have to do some few things and uh it's uh unlike unlike the city life you have to you know wake up maybe clean the compound uh do some few chores around the compound and everything but you know uh, back in the city when you wake up we have people who do that so you don't have to do that you, are, you just clean your house if you don't have a, a house manager yeah so but when you are here it's good when you do it yourself so guys i uh, just want to show you around before i go to what i want to do today uh this is mbosi amboka right here mbosi amboka how are you how are you, are you good that's mbosi amboka guys as you can see it's following me so friendly yeah so friendly we are here with Mbosi Amboka, big man and uh, yeah so uh, we also have uh, Zach Zach right here this is Zach Zach eh? Getangita's Zach brother Zachary, yeah. Zach Zachary Getangita's brother, uh, Getangita's brother. Yeah. we are here with him he's the one who makes sure that this place is tidy and uh, also he's like he works here a lot so every almost all the time we always here with him it's early in the morning what do you do guys when you wake up enough in, in the village in this village, when you wake up, uh -huh. you must be... Um, at me, I'm... I'm uh, you come here. Yeah, I'm coming here. But what then, about, let's say, so people you left at home, what do they do when they oh, wake up? When I wake up at home, mm -hmm. I must go first to the farm. To the farm? Uh, at my farm. Okay. Uh, so that it will clean there. Mm -hmm. At today, uh -huh. even now I'm from there. You're from there? Yeah. Guys, you know me, uh, I, I don't think I can go to the farm to, you know, to farm with a hoe and everything. Something that I've never thought. Maybe one day I'll give it a try, but I don't think it will it will be successful. <laughs> I don't think I can go and I better I better pay the tractors one day. But hey man, that yeah. hey, this this city thing has messed me up big time, guys. Yeah? Sometimes I feel like I don't know, but I don't think <laughs> maybe one day I'll try. Let me not be, be negative. Let me just one day I'll just go and try. And see how it feels like, eh? So, uh, as you can see, this is Mama Grace's house. Looking good, looking beautiful, eh? And so today we are with uh, Mkulima here. We, we call him Mkulima. Uh, Mkulima means farmer, eh? In Swahili, Mkulima. So we are here with Mkulima. And uh, we want to go and... And since Mama Grace... Uh, uh, the Villa Rindima is starting. We are starting a new project. Villa Rindima is, is, will be going on soon. So we want to make sure that we clean the... The area and make sure the things are in place for the engineers to come and and you and you know what and fix everything so we are here with my with mkulima my friend i just want to go and clear the some woods over there uh, to pave way for you know the materials to go up because now we are uh, they are going to put the, the the final slab up there so that's my work today i just want to go and uh, and you know, uh, clean the place and make sure that the road is clean. And then there is grass up. If you can see, we have grass somewhere growing up uh, there. You see those grass up there? Yeah. So I want to go and clean the grass and uproot them uh, to clear the way also for the people who are going to uh, install the new slab. So that's the job today. Me and Mkulima. Mkulima, let's go. Yeah. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. So, Mama Grace, as always, looking beautiful, looking good. Eh? Look at that. Eh? I guess when you go all over this village, you'll never see a house like this. Not even this village, this county. 
I, maybe even this country. <laughs> you'll, you'll never see a house like that. So uh, we are here. These are the things that we, are, we want to clear. We want to pave way here. So we are here with Mkulima. Let's start working. Eh? Let's work. Let's work. Let's work. Yeah, so guys, uh, I want to start by here, taking this uh, big, 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 okay, we put it in there, and we also have to be very careful. Uh, yes, we have to be very, very careful. This is the village life, guys. Village Manelo. Yeah. This one is stuck. Mm. There is something holding it from here. Let me remove the top one first. I also have to approve the black jacks because I don't want them sticking on my clothes. Yes, so as you can see, we are still working. I'll be with you when I'm done. Yeah, so guys, as you can see, we are done. Uh, that's Mkulima over there. The place is now clean. You want to slash it? Let me go and bring the slasher. That you can just slash it right, right away. Yeah, that's the village life. So let me go get some slashes, then I come back. Okay. Let me get some slashes in here. From a ghost house, we have a slasher. Slasher, 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 slasher. When I slash it, I need time. Oh, it is here, right here, guys. So let's go, let's go. You see the slasher? Yeah, we just want to go and slash the place so that it looks tidy. Uh, that's what we're working on, guys. Village life. Kindly watch the video till the end, guys. This is just amazing. Amazing, amazing. Let me start with here. You know these blackjacks? You have to clear them before they, they become a problem. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this is what we do, guys. Village life, village life. See the blackjack? These ones are not mature yet, so I have to uproot them to avoid real mature blackjacks. Yeah. Once I have this, just have to tidy up the place. Mm. Just have to 
tidy up the place if you know what it is oh man that's mkulima over there we're trying to clear the we're trying to clear the weed guys this is not a joke eh? village life mkulima are you used to this life You have Zoe, you have you are used. Guys, Zoe is getting is being used to the life. He's used to the life of the village life, eh? Me, I'm just trying to blend in, eh? Yeah, so let me clear here. Hmm. Would you prefer to live here or in the city? Even me is better than me in the city. Bro. That's true. You are smart. Because here you get all, anything you need you get. You'll get it here. Even water you can yeah. get. Fresh water. Fresh water. But in Yeah, uh, that's the truth. Buy, even my river there in Mombasa. In Mombasa. Uh, coastal counties I have walked there around. Wow. All all and you see the village is better you, yeah. he was there and he came back uh, he I realized he lived in mombasa. wow yeah. so he, he used to live in mombasa and realized village life is more better than the city life That's... so he came back I decided to came back. Mm. Uh. so he came back and decided to you know live his yeah. life in the village after living in the village and going to the city, then he, he, he realized, oh, this is messed up. I just need to come back to where I belong. Yeah? And that's what we are rea uh, realizing now. So, village life to the world. Yeah? Yeah? You see? You can imagine waking up and doing all this hmm? for free. Yeah? Like no one bothers you, no one is there to shout for you. You're just doing your thing. No supervision. You are your own supervisor. You lead your own life here in the village. So let me go up there and uh, show you what's happening. Yeah, so guys, we are heading up. We are going to... We are going to... Uh, let me call this like this. We are going to cut some... I'm going to cut some grass eh, growing on top of Villa Rindima. So we should pass there, right? I just missed the spot. Let me go back. We pass here. We step on the. The uh, same Kolima is used to the Tingo. Eh, it's used to the place. So I'm the one trying to survive and going to run around there eh? wow so we are up here we just want to remove them some yeah we just have to uproot yeah we have to... <laughs> this is a slasher, a slasher. Yeah, so let's just uproot so that we we avoid it we make sure it does not grow so this is how we uproot Look at that. Yeah. Yeah, this one has uh, thorns. Yeah. It has thorns, so I have to just cut it. This one here. Full of thorns. Yeah, it's gone. Oh. Then this one so I can just upload there. Getting ready. The project is beginning. The project will be starting soon. Maybe this week. 
the way Mayuguna was saying, this project can start even this week. So let's be there to support my brother, Mr. Yuguno. We are uprooting as you can see. This one was so heavy. Let me throw it down there. It was it has <coughs> big roots. Kulima mm. is used to this life. Me, yeah, I'm just enjoying doing everything. For him, it's normal. Yeah. Look at this compound, guys. So amazing. Wow. Yeah. Seeing my friends doing this, you know, people say there's a, a, a thing that goes like this. Show me your friends and I, I tell you who you are. Or I show you who you are. So my, all my friends are now constructing and maybe I'm the third person, I'm the fourth person. Yeah? Show me your three friends and I'll tell you who you are. So I have three friends who are like, I have the Mayugno right here. I have uh, Bunden Traveler. I have the Anakemi. You see, my circle is all about positivity and progress. So let's work, guys. Uh, uh, and I almost forgot. I have Nico Buddha and the Virginia boy, a boy from Shamba. Eh? He took me all the way from Kenya to Colorado. That's not easy, guys. That's not easy. Eh? Colorado boy. Mm? Yes, so we get it done. Yes, you can see. Oh, guys, this is just amazing, amazing, amazing. Yeah, amazing African experience. <laughs> yeah, look at me, guys. Look at me. Ah oh, man, this is much. Yeah, so guys, as you can see, we are done for today. So let's wait for Mayugno to come and give us other activities to do. Yeah, so we are here with Mukulima, heading down. This is uh, Villa Rindima. The biggest villa eh? <laughs> in this compound. Eh? We have a Magres house and now uh, Villa Rindima. This is not a joke, guys. I feel like this is it. So, Kulima, let's go and wash our hands and uh, see if we can get breakfast. Eh? So, let me use let me use uh, this side. I wanna. There's a shortcut here. Shortcut, shortcut, shortcut. But I have to be very careful because we have a lot of nails around here. So, being careful is something that. Uh, I'm not playing with it. I have to be very careful. Very, very careful. Mkulima used the same route that he came with. He, in Nairobi, there is a saying, you don't use the you same path twice. Eh? You don't use another way to... Yeah, in Nairobi, yeah. in Nairobi, they say if you use a path, you don't use it twice. When you go, you don't come with it. Yeah. You have to uh, look yeah. for another path. Because you don't know people, maybe people who are around there have marked you. And they are waiting to maybe steal from you, something like that. So in Nairobi, we believe that when you pass somewhere, you don't uh, pass there again. You only pass once. Yeah, those are, but here in the village, no one will, you know, attack you. <laughs> so let's go and wash our hands. There's a, a tap somewhere here. And to avoid uh, wasting water, bring that uh, uh, bucket. Just to avoid wasting water, you know. We, as much as we are getting it for free, we don't have to waste it. Eh? So we have to take care of it and make sure that uh, we use at, as little as we are supposed to be using. Because when I come here and uh, open the tap and start washing, the water will be going down. 
and we could have used it for something else you see so we as much as we are getting it for free we have to make sure we make good use of it yeah so let him bring the soap and some and the buckets so that we can wash our our hands yeah. Yeah. so you see we are going to wash our hands from the bucket not from the tap because when we use the tap we'll have to use a lot of water to do that so good to do to be to respect what you have that's enough yes so maybe hold this for me then i wash okay. uh, hold that for me like that so guys your boys no man sucker wants to wash let me wash yeah so I woke up early, I showered at the river, of course. Then now, you see? So, I've already washed now, his, it's his time washing. <coughs> hmm? Trying to save water, guys. And by doing that, it's always good. So, like uh we are done now for the for like you know the work that we are doing thank you so i just want to go to the center and look for breakfast you know we are bachelors around here at the moment i'm i'm not fully a bachelor but uh, but uh since i'm here i'm not back in the city with my my people though we communicate i'm a senior i'm a bachelor for now <laughs> Yeah, so this is Mama Grace's house. I just want to chill for a minute. Then I head to... Then I head to uh, the center. Nomad Saka. Keep it locked. Keep it Nomadiko Sadiko. Big man. Watch the video till the end, guys. I love you. Keep it tuned. Yeah, guys, we're still here, uh, but I went to Tanzania a little bit. I'm here with the big fish. Yeah, Saute Sankara. Yeah, so guys, my name is Kenneth Remedy K. Saute Sankara, the big fish. Mm. Already I'm here. Yeah, big man. The, the home. I'm big man, yeah, my yeah. friend. Right now we're in Tanzania. Yeah. We are going to big fish shop. Yeah, yeah big fish shop. Yeah. yeah. What's yeah. the name of the shop? Mama Grace Mama shop. Grace shop. Oh, we are going to Mama Grace shop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, it is just amazing being here and having these people around. Mm -hmm. It's always amazing, guys. It's amazing. Yeah. It's amazing. It's amazing, man. Mm -hmm. my, my day has been busy. Yeah. I was at home trying to, you know, yeah. uh, do some small small activities. Mm -hmm. Then I came here to see you guys yeah. and see the Rindima family. Family. You know, most of the Rindima family are here mm -hmm. yeah, in, in Tanzania. In Tanzania. Yes. Yeah. So, uh, guys, as you can see, I'm here with big fish himself. Yeah. And we have the small fish the right small here. Fish here. Yeah, and then yeah. I'm a small fish. And then I'm a small fish here. Yeah. Yeah, right there. So, yeah. this is Mama Grace's shop. Yeah, it's Mama Grace's shop here. Right there. Big, big, big shop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, very soon it will become a supermarket. Yeah, it will be very soon. Yeah. Yeah, big supermarket. Very, very soon God is the, is the, is the work. Yes. Is the Mia Mrindima the supermarket. Yes, yes. Yeah. Supermarket, uh -huh. Mama Grace supermarket. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> and guys, uh, my brother here is monetized, so kindly go check him out yeah. because right now he's monetized mm -hmm. and he's really doing an amazing job. Mm -hmm. So go support my brother here by watching his videos and watch subscribing full, full. if you haven't watched full, full, full guys. Full, guys. Yeah, it is just amazing seeing him working at Mama Grace shop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This yeah, is yeah. just something amazing, yeah. guys. Eh? Mm -hmm. So as you, as you can see. We, we are not far from the border, so from my Yukonos place to the border, it's not that far. Yeah, it's a place that I can just walk, you know. So you see I'm here, amazingly uh, seeing my brother and it's just amazing, man. Yeah, yeah, you're amazing. Yeah. So you're from buying some new stock. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. see, he's from buying stock. What this is, is that? This is majan. You know oh. majan mzungu? Those are tea leaves, eh? Tea leaves. We call them tea leaves. Yeah, yeah it's tea leaves. Yeah. So when a customer come, mm. they ask him for tea leaves. Yeah, give but, me tea leaves. But here yeah. they say majani chai. The majani chai is for majani chai. for 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 Kiswahili is majani chai. Kiswahili majani chai, yeah. And I can see your shop has a lot of sweets and and soda. Soda. Yeah. It seems like your uh, water. Yeah, most of your customers are kids, eh? Mm. They love sweets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sodas and everything. Yeah. This is uh, the. Those are sweets, eh? Ivory. You know ivory, Muzungu? Ivory, ivory, 
these are sweets known as ivory yeah, buttermilk. Uh, yeah. Ivory, let me see, let me show you. Uh-huh. Ivory buttermilk. Buttermilk. Eh? Yeah. And the sweets, I can see the juice. And also I can see the UI thing. And the UI thing, you know, cigarettes. Yeah. Yeah, but you know in Kenya they don't allow, it's funny because I came here guys. <laughs> But these guys are, are advertising a uh, cigarette, you see? <coughs> They're advertising cigarette. Mm. You see, this is a cigarette, this is a company known as Master. Yeah, Master. Mm. But now in Kenya, it is not allowed. Advertising cigarette is illegal. Mm. Yeah, that's one thing I came to realize, they're still uh, advertising cigarette. For Kenyans, it is not allowed, it is illegal. If you're found advertising cigarette, you'll be arrested. Yeah, but for them, you see, it's not a, it's, it's not illegal since they have this uh, can, can poster can, over here. Can you arrest me? Yeah, if you get, if you advertise cigarette, yeah, you will be arrested. Ah. It is not allowed to advertise okay. cigarette. Even if you are doing anything to, do, let's say you are doing a movie and someone is is smoking cigarette, mm. that's fine. But now when it comes to you know uh, advertising it in public, maybe on 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 a national television mm-hmm. or something like that, it is not allowed. It, it is not allowed. Like, and most of the time, yeah. yes, people are still smoking, but it is, uh, you know, turning down that rate. You know, before it used to be a very big rate, yeah. but nowadays it is not that big. People who smoke cigarettes in yeah. Kenya, especially the young youths. But here I saw even young youths, they are just smoking anyhow. Yeah. That's one different thing with Kenya, guys. Kenya, we don't uh, indulge uh, smoking, especially for those people don't who haven't started. Here. Yeah, they do like smoking is not it is not illegal, yeah. but they don't encourage it. Eh? So mm. the young people don't smoke. Maybe those people started smoking before the ban. Mm. They are still smoking because you know cigarette is addictive. Mm. So uh, they, for them they still smoke. But now for the young, uh, the young lads, eh, the upcoming generation, yeah. no one is smoking. So that's one thing I came to realize about the Kenyan system. You know, everyone has their own system, but the Kenyan one is so so different, guys. Eh? So I learned a lot from that. I didn't know that these guys are still uh, advertising cigarette and uh, and all that. So guys, we're here. As you can see, the sun is almost setting and I'm here in Tanzania. Most of the time I spend my time here in Tanzania because it's always peaceful. It's so it has a, like it's just cool. Uh, unfortunately, we cannot acquire land here if you are Kenyans. You know the, the uh, Tanzania has a strict rule. Uh, you cannot uh, acquire land if you are not a citizen. You can acquire it as an investor, but now you know it has it has a lot of process. Unlike Kenya, we are also we are we are Kenyan, so we just go there and acquire land without any issues. So it's always amazing uh, doing it eh? in in uh, in Kenya more than Tanzania. Yeah, but all in all, we are neighbors. If I buy land in Kenya, I'll be able to come to Tanzania freely without any problems. You see. So it, 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 that's just amazing. Yeah. Yes, after. Yeah. So it's always amazing. So you see the kids right here. Say many hi. Hi. Yeah, those are kids. Eh? So keep it locked, guys. I'll be with you in a minute. Yeah? Sure. Yeah, so guys, we're still here. Uh, as you can see, we're just rolling, rolling, rolling. We have the one and only Doreen yeah, yeah. here. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, hi guys. Mm-hmm. Welcome to Nomad Soccer Channel, guys. My yeah. name is Luna Skolisha. Yes. Like I don't know, it's still like America, like you see, like everything for the world, guys. Yeah. Welcome to this channel, guys. Mm-hmm. Remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Sure. Dorina and Skolisha, Robin sure. 4000, mm-hmm. and uh, Nomad Soccer. Yes. Subscribe, comment, share. Mm-hmm. Everything is open, is open. And we're still in Tanzania, guys. Yeah. Uh, we are. We are here. We have. Uh, the big fish out of Sankara somewhere there. Yeah. And this is Doreen. Ah, Doreen, how yeah. have you been? I'm good actually. Yeah. I think it's good. Uh-huh. Everything is up and good. You, you are so happy. What's up? Yeah, what is, I'm happy what, today. What is the secret? Yeah, my secret. <laughs> what God, is, is, no, God, God, God is your secret. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Continue believing in your God. Yeah. And everything will be fine, right? Yes. So we are here with Dorina, guys. Uh, we just want to go out. We're waiting for Ngutu. He was yeah. here, but. He just went missing. Yeah. He, he was just around there. I don't know where he went, but we are waiting for him mm-hmm. so that we can go to the to the other side. Mm-hmm. Kenya now. Yeah, you know, right now we're in Tanzania and we want to go to Kenya. We also have uh, big fish, big fish, big fish. He's in there. So let's wait for everyone. Mm-hmm. Then we can go. Yeah? So yeah, yeah, yeah. guys, 
keep it locked don't touch that dial we are as we go guys we're still waiting for these guys you know they they are really slow <laughs> yeah so it's golden hour guys in africa look at the i don't know if you can see it but it's golden hour ah my phone is uh, is not good yeah you know i'm missing my phone mm -hmm. i'm missing my phone i don't have a gopro anymore so i'm using my phone so as you can see it's uh what do we call it golden hour and we are just trying to uh make sure that we make good use of it before it gets dark because when it gets dark we don't have lights around here this is the border and this is the like the no man's land where people just pass yeah? and uh that's uh ngutu i mean uh, Kennedy the remedies shop they call it Mama Grace shop down there that one that is Mama Grace shop yeah so just amazing man being here and always uh, chilling here because everything oh sorry everything here is very cheap like in terms of food in terms of uh, just everything even renting here is very cheap but I don't know if they can allow anyone from out of uh, Tanzania, I mean out of Tanzania to come and rent here. Maybe if I ask Doreen. Doreen, one minute please, come. So I have this question. Uh, is it possible for somebody who is not a uh, Tanzanian to rent a house here? What? Is it possible for somebody to rent a house here with a Kenya? Kenya has a rent nyumba and another kombo nyumba. Yeah, yeah, life, life is, uh, is, a, is a every every place. Oh, so they don't ask for any papers or something like that. Yeah, it's, it's simple. Oh, yeah. maybe it's because uh, let me stand this side. Maybe it's because uh, maybe it's because uh, it's near the border, so they can't just be very strict. But you know, in some other areas, you can't just go somewhere. And rent if you're not a citizen. They ask you for your identification. Like in Nairobi, mm. before you rent any house, you have to provide your ID. You have mm. to provide your license, uh, passport, or anything that shows that uh, you are from there. Or if you're not from there, you give them the passport. Oh. It normally happens even in the Airbnb. Oh, Nairobi, yani mto kutoka Tanzania kwenda kwenyewe ni kufanya njia hiyo. You know Nairobi like the big. Big, town, big city, yeah. Big city mm. for another city for the another 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 nation, I think. Another country. Another country. Mm. So this border here mm. is a distance. Mm. Yeah, distance. Where uh, people for Tanzania she live in Kenya. Mm. People for Kenya she live in Tanzania. Mm -hmm. uh, the, uh, sometimes people for Tanzania mm. she take a she take a shop mm, every in every in for, for shop for Kenya. Yes, people it happens from Kenya a lot. Is come to take uh, vegetables. They come to take uh, everything for yeah. Tanzania. Yeah. So don't charge uh, re receipt. Yeah, sure, don't it's free. Uh, free. It's, it's free. free. You know, I was I was thinking, mm. since uh, living here is very cheap, kuishi apa ni ni nafu ukilinganisha na Kenya hata kwa masuala ya nyumba mm. when it comes to renting a house mm. so uh, unaonaje unaweza ambia mtu akuje akae huku na afanye kazi Kenya ama akae tu Kenya na afanye kazi Kenya yeah uh, is a is 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 simple mm -hmm. it's not easy it's not expensive mm -hmm. because uh, Kenya and Tanzania like the friend. friend. Mm. Two, yeah, we are two East, countries are yeah, East African. We yeah. are in the East African community. We are like family. Yeah, like family. Mm -hmm. So, uh, people, if someone is uh, she wants to leave Tanzania, you do work. You do work in Kenya. In Kenya. Yeah, she come to leave. Mm. She go. She back to to, to Kenya. work in Kenya. Yeah. So everything is up and up and uh, it's, it's up to to you. Yeah, uh, yeah. Because me guys, I think I can. I prefer living here because. It's like uh, fifty percent uh, cheaper compared to Kenya, so I'd prefer living here than in in uh, in Kenya. When it, like when I let's say for example I was working here, maybe at the border. Uh, maybe let's give an example with people who work at the at the at the border. Maybe the officers or something. I prefer if they can be living here and uh, working in Kenya because you, uh, let's assume you can get a room for. 
5,000 per month in Kenya. Yeah. When you come to Tanzania, you can get a room for 2,000 per month. So you see, it's cheaper and it is almost the same distance. Yeah. And uh, the environment is always good. Yeah. And uh, the people from Tanzania have this culture of you know caring for each other. Anyone wako na undugu. Tanzania wako na undugu. Yeah. Uh, unlike Kenya, we don't like care what your neighbor is doing or who is your neighbor. So for me, I normally prefer if I was in a position, like if I was working in Isibania or Isibania, I would prefer living in Sirar. Yeah. But since I don't live in, I don't work in in this area, uh, I'll just visit. I'll come and visit. Maybe one day when Dorina will be, you know, upgrading. Yeah. Yeah, you never welcome, know. Welcome. Yeah. So I'm always happy when I visit these people because they're always positive when I stay with them. Uh, we know we advise uh, we advise each other like brother and sister. We talk. We you know we just become productive as Team Rindima in general. So it's always fun coming here and having fun, and always being positive about everything. So it's always good, guys. So we don't just take it for granted. We're always thankful. We're always grateful. So guys, if you're watching this video for the first time, kindly make sure you subscribe. And if you've watched this video from the beginning, kindly, kindly, kindly give the video a like. And thank you for watching the video. We really appreciate you. We really uh, 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 thank you for your uh, effort. So kindly continue supporting us. Continue supporting Dorina underscore Elisha. Uh, road to 5K. 5k yeah, road to five. I'm, a, I'm also road to 5k yeah. so guys support us support team rindima support ngutu the widow support uh, kennedy the remedy support sautia sankara support uh, nico buddha support who else Sa support the big boss mayuguna himself and everything else will be awesome guys I'm, I'm so i'm so appreciative today because i feel like this is something that i've, I've wanted for the long time but now i'm getting it so i won't just keep calm so continue supporting us. I want to end this video here. Thank you for being here. Thank you for supporting. And until next time, bye-bye.